Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we are reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fifth graders. Our concept is one and multi-step word problems. This is part six, where we will be reviewing money. Remember fifth graders, good things come to those who work hard. We have our fifth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. So let's dive into question number 33. While cleaning his room, Paul found seven cents on his desk, 98 cents under his bed, and two dollars and forty cents and four cents in his closet. What was the total amount of money Paul found? Is it F two dollars and nine cents? G three dollars and nine cents? H three dollars and seventy two cents or J four dollars and eight cents? In order to solve this problem, the first thing we need to do is ask ourselves, what are we looking for? We are looking for the total amount of money Paul found. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, what information can help find the answer? Well, there are a few things that can help find the answer. Number one, Paul found seven cents on his desk. And then he found 98 cents under his bed. Lastly, he found $2.04 in his closet. And if you notice, we have converted those to decimal values, okay? For seven cents, we have 0 0.07. For 98 cents, we have 0.98. And for $2.04, we have $2.04. Now, how do we solve the problem? What we need to do is add all the money together. So let's dive in and do that now. We are lining up our decimals and remember for them to be in a straight line, fifth graders, just so that you can get the correct answer. We have $2.04. We have seven cents. Now, if you notice for the whole number, we put a zero just as a placeholder so that we can have our decimals lined up nice and neat. And the same thing for 98 cents, we have 0 0.98. Adding all of our values in um, our cents place, we have four plus seven plus eight, that is equal to 19. So we put down our one, our nine and carry the one. Now we have one plus nine, which is 10. We put a zero and we carry the one to our ones place. One plus two is equal to three. So our answer is $3.09. So what is the correct answer? I need to look at all of my answer choices to see which one has $3.09 as the value. And yep, you're correct, it is G. That is our correct answer. Great job, fifth graders. Let's move to question number 34. Marsha bought a birthday card for $2.86 and a pen for $1.57. She paid with a $20 bill. How much change should Marsha have received? Is it A, $15.57? B, $24.43, C, $17.77, or D, $16.57. And in order for us to solve this problem, yes, we need to ask ourselves, well, what are we looking for? We are looking for the amount of change Marsha should have received when paying with the $20. Now that we have that information, what information can help find the answer? So the information that can help find the answer is, number one, Marsha bought a birthday card for $2.86. And number two, she bought a pen for $1.57. Three, she paid with a $20 bill. Now that we have the information we need in order to solve this problem, 
How do we solve the problem? Well, we need to use two steps in order to solve this problem. Number one, we're going to add the items she bought together. And then step two, we're going to subtract the amount from step one and $20 because that's how much money she paid with. Let's dive into step one. We are going to add the items she bought together. So she bought the birthday card for $2.86 and a pen for $1.57. When I add these two values together, it equals $4.43. Okay, that's the value for step one. So now for step two, we need to subtract the amount from step one, which is $4.43 and $20 because that is how much money Marsha paid with. So subtracting $20 minus $4.43, our answer is $15.57. What is our correct answer? Well, now we know how much change that Marsha received. What we're gonna do is look at our answer choices to see which one has $15.57 as the answer. And yes, the correct answer is A. Well, that is it, fifth graders, for part six of multi-step one and multi-step word problems. Remember, we have our fifth grade math and reading review workbook available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.